This is a story about Edward Gourdine. I'm sure you've never heard of him. Well, today is your lucky day. Black History Month came early. On August 10th, 1897, young Edward was born in Jacksonville, Florida. I won't spoil the story too much. I'll let you be edutained. Let's watch the journey of Edward Orville Gordine's life. Edward Orville Gordine was one of nine children born to Walter Holmes Gordine, a meat cutter, and Felicia Gordine. Just look at those bright eyes. He's got a sparkle in them, doesn't he? With those eyes full of wonder, I bet he'll be something special, an explorer, an artist, or maybe even an athlete. An athlete, you say? Well, he does have strong legs. Just look at him kick. In 1924, Edward won a silver medal in the long jump in the Summer Olympics held in Paris, France. He was the first man in history to jump 25 feet, and he was the first African-American to win a silver medal in the Olympics. In 1917, Edward goes to Harvard University. In 1925, joined the National Guard after I graduated from Harvard. And in 1941, fought in World War II in a segregated unit as a commanding officer. I rose to the rank of Colonel, served until 1947. I continued my law degree at Harvard and rejoined the National Guard, and served until 1959. I earned the rank of Brigadier General, the first African American to earn that rank in the state of Massachusetts. I was admitted into the bar in 1929, began working in politics. I met many prominent people such as Francis Ford, who encouraged Franklin D. Roosevelt to appoint me as assistant U.S. attorney in 1936. In 1958, Edward Orville Gordine became the first African-American Supreme Court Justice in Massachusetts. He held that position until his death in 1966. In 1997, Robert Freeman unveiled a painted portrait of Edward which is hanging in the old Suffolk County Courthouse in Pemberton Square in Boston, Massachusetts. 